Mr. Bean is an alien and I have indisputable evidence to prove it once and for all. Let's start with the opening of Mr. Bean's live action series. Why does Mr. Bean fall from the sky? Well, it's because he's dropped off by a flying saucer. This is confirmed in the animated show, but we'll come back to that as it's extremely important. But why is Mr. Bean being dropped off in the first place? I believe he was sent to Earth to learn about our society and culture, which explains why he's always exploring and discovering new things. The more you analyse Mr. Bean, the more obvious this becomes. Why else would he barely speak English, despite being a full-grown adult? <laughs> it sounds a lot like he's still learning the language. He also clearly doesn't understand the world around him. Mr. Bean does things as if it's his first time experiencing them, and that's because he hasn't been on Earth for very long. If he were a normal adult human, everything wouldn't be so strange to him. He's also an extremely out-of-the-box thinker, solving problems in bizarre and unique ways. Perhaps this is because he thinks differently from humans. And his ID says Mr. as his first name, which is obviously a fake ID the other aliens must have made for him as they don't fully understand how names work on our planet. Mr. Bean is probably used to high-speed space travel too. Take this roller coaster scene for example, he's completely unfazed by it. He also wears the same clothes over and over and over again. This is likely another thing aliens assume is normal for humans. But now it's time to talk about the animated show. It confirms some things that will blow your mind. In one episode, Mr. Bean has an alien encounter. Let me break it down. The episode starts like any other with Mr. Bean's hilarious antics. But things take an unexpected turn when he sees a copy of himself along with the exact same car. Curious, Mr. Bean follows the clone, and it turns out they have more than just looks in common. They both talk funny, have stuffed animals, and both have a knack for mischief. But they have even more in common, as they share a taste for women. The clone flirts with Mr. Bean's girlfriend and eventually leaves with her. Mr. Bean, feeling jealous, eventually follows them, and here's where we get a bombshell we see a flying saucer. That's right, a flying saucer. But it gets even deeper. The clone takes Mr. Bean's girlfriend aboard the ship, and we see a bunch of other Mr. Bean clones, each one exactly like the last. This confirms that the clones, and by extension Mr. Bean, are indeed aliens. And yes, the animated show is canon, and connects to the live-action show as the actor Rowan Axardson, who plays Mr. Bean, was heavily involved in the cartoon. Not only was he the voice of Mr. Bean, but he also has a screenwriting credit. Still don't believe me? Here's Rowan Axardson describing what the idea for the last episode could be, well before the animated series began. It was this idea for the last, which we may never do, mm -hmm. the last episode of Mr. Bean, is that he's driving along a country lane extremely fast in his mini. And he stops the car. <laughs> and he looks out and he thinks, what's, what's that spaceship doing there? Look, look! And this bright light comes out of the spaceship. <gasps> and a Mr. Bean walks out of the spaceship. Of course. <laughs> and then another Mr. Bean walks out of the spaceship. <laughs> and he sees Mr. Bean and they all shake hands. <laughs> and the spaceship ends. takes off. I mean, there is this idea that he may not be of our world. He may be from another place. This proves that the animated Mr. Bean and the live-action Mr. Bean are one in the same. Anyway, the original Mr. Bean eventually arrives at the flying saucer. His girlfriend is scared and in shock, as anyone would be. But Mr. Bean? He's completely fine. In fact, he's intrigued by it all. He even willingly walks aboard. This leads me to believe that this sight is somewhat familiar to him. What's even crazier is that once the flying saucer takes off, Mr. Bean is not phased by the possibility of leaving Earth forever. Now that is not normal behaviour. Eventually, the clone pulls a lever and sends Mr. Bean off the ship. This links the show back to the series as we get a recreation of the opening scene. And if that's not proof that they are connected, I don't know what is. All of these clues point to one undeniable fact. Mr. Bean is an alien. From his bizarre behaviour, to the animated series confirming the existence of multiple Bean clones, and the flying saucer, every strange quirk about him makes sense when we see him as an extraterrestrial being sent to Earth to observe and learn. 
The truth has been there all along, and now that it's laid out, it's impossible to unsee. He's a freaking alien! Thanks for watching this video, you're a real one. I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe and leave a like. As for now, don't forget to stay critical, and that's the end of the show. Stay critical, that's the end of the show. Break it down with the facts, let the people know.